All right, good morning. Welcome to Demo Days. Thank you for joining us. As today's host, I'm really excited to be talking to one of many technology partners that we work with, Big Panda. Uh, you'll not only hear about some of their market leading features, uh, but also how when implemented with X Matters, organizations of all sizes can ensure their services are as reliable as customers expect. Um, we have our chat area open today for you to post comments or questions. So please feel free to do so during the webinar. Um, and just as a reminder, this session is intended for customers or prospective customers of X Matters. It is subject to all fair published use policies and other terms and conditions available at xmatters.com slash policy. My name is Rituja. Um, I'm the partner marketing manager at X Matters and joining us from Big Panda is Phil Rogers. Phil is a sales engineer with Big Panda and with nearly 10 years of experience in the data center and performance monitoring spaces. We're also joined by Eric Maxwell, who is X Matters' solution architect. Um, he'll be showcasing some of X Matters' features that complement your Big Panda deployment. Um, you know, Big Panda helps IT ops teams keep their businesses running with event correlation and automation powered by AI ops. This enables teams to reduce their operating costs while increasing per service performance and availability and increasing business velocity from reduced outages. X Matters is a service reliability platform that helps DevOps and SRE teams automate workflows, ensure infrastructure and applications are always working and rapidly deliver products at scale. Our code-free workflow builder, Flow Designer, adaptive approach to incident management and real-time performance analytics all support one single goal, the happiness of your customers. In today's digital world, there's a growing number of tools, systems, services, and technologies all required to support your customer offerings. As teams grow, so do their need to understand what causes things to go wrong. And while many organizations implement monitoring tools, it's pointless without being able to make sense of the data and understand the path to remediation when things go wrong. Delays restoring services or ensuring they perform satisfactory all lead to growing costs. And what's more, the more time teams spend on reacting to problems and trying to figure out the cause, impact, and resolution steps, the less time they spend on delivering value to their business. So what's the solution? If you're here today, chances are you've got some pain in one or more parts of your operations. Whether that's making sense of the data your monitoring tools are giving you, gathering information and situational context, or ensuring an end-to-end -end incident response through manually updated ITSM and chat tools. Before we begin our demos, here's what we're going to see, you're going to see today. Just in case you were wondering how Big Panda and X Matters of Solutions benefit your team. Very shortly, we'll hand it over to Phil to start us off with some great features in the Big Panda tool set. He'll show you core event correlation from a number of monitoring tools, such as examples shown here on the left. And we'll also see how Big Panda event intelligence helps teams identify incidents and support root causes and take over actions accordingly. One of those actions may be to pass the incident over to X Matters to find appropriate on-call resources and orchestrate the incident response. That's where Eric will show us <clears throat> the X Matters Incident Console, which allows teams to receive and call for more information from Big Panda, as well as automating key manual incident steps and engaging resolvers into chat tools like Microsoft Teams, updating stakeholders via notifications and applications like status page, and closing the loop to Big Panda by making comments and status updates to the original incident. So let's start with Phil. All right. Thank you, Rituja. Okay, good morning, everyone. Hey, I am Phil Rogers. I'm a sales engineer with Big Panda. Uh, to level set what we're looking at before we dive into the demo, um, thank you, Rituja. Big Panda is an event correlation and automation tool that helps reduce cost, reduce risk, and improve availability. Um, at a high level, we do this by empowering operators to triage and resolve issues faster. You know, escalating to L2, L3, et cetera, is not only expensive, but it prioritizes working technical debt over moving the business forward. So what we're looking at right in front of us now, um, consider, consider this the virtual war room. You know, this is a SaaS native platform. Uh, we've already integrated with all of your monitoring tools very rapidly. Uh, we have a 100% success rate integrating with literally any monitoring tool, um, even homegrown tools. 
we're ingesting all of those noisy alerts and we're correlating it all together to reduce noise. Uh, in fact, by grouping those related alerts into high level incidents. So how this works before we dive in and take a look at uh, how we're gonna work an incident together, just to level set. Of course, we have our environments on the left. These are very simple folders. This allows you to, to send the information to the teams who are going to be responsible and interested. Uh, but for the purpose of the demo, we'll just take a look at all incidents here. And so as we ingest those alerts, you know, we can see the high level incidents in the middle pane here. This already is telling us that, you know, in this case, we're correlating based on a common host. And this has three alerts associated. And so when I click on this, we can see that these kind of alerts we're ingesting are, are very simple alerts from SCOM. Uh, we're normalizing these alerts, but there's no additional information here. Just plain SCOM alert, we see the host, some CPU utilization, et cetera. But one of the key pillars of Big Panda is our ability to do enrichment. And when I say enrichment, we can pull in a variety of information from all across your environment. Um, this enrichment information can come from your CMDBs, whether or not that CMDB is, is complete, does not matter. Uh, your APM flow maps, your vSphere information, even, even spreadsheets in the environment. And you may have noticed that we were looking at a SCOM alert before with just a little bit of info. We're looking at a SCOM alert again, but this time the alert is enriched with information like a production environment and runbook URLs and, and things of that nature. And the more enrichment we have, the more it allows our, our open box machine learning to effectively correlate together. So in this case, we can see that we're correlating based on a common cluster because all of these hosts share uh, that common cluster. All right, so that being said, let's put our operator hat on to work an incident together and find out how Intel is solving 99% of their problems at an L1 level in Costa Rica with Big Panda and how Workday was able to achieve a 400% increase in L1 remediation. So if I'm an operator, I'm going into this, this incident with three main questions. What happened, what changed, and what's the blast radius? Well, right off the bat, I can already see the impact. It's a production environment affecting a network team. I can see the high level alerts and then some changes and, and what's going on. So, you know, I'm, I'm an operator. I don't have to swivel chair. I already have all of this information in one place helping me out. But to, uh, to work this incident, as I mentioned, we would just come in here and, and start looking at the alerts. We see some CPU throttling. Uh, we see a disk starting to run full. We see uh, some pod crash looping. Oh, we just had another alert come in, uh, some IO latency. And then we had this critical alert camp come in. Um, you may have noticed this was immediately bumped up to, uh, to a P2 and it just turned critical. And so this is a SCOM alert with a storage failure, connectivity lost. Well, if I see an alert that says uh, connectivity lost to storage, well then presumably I would expect uh, probably another flood of alerts to fall in the, in the environment. And, uh, and, and sure enough, here's that flood and we're still correlating all in one high level incident. You know, we're looking at 23 alerts here and now we're correlating based on a common application in a production environment. We've got some web timeouts, some errors. It's safe to say our application is down. So as an operator, we're hopping on the bridge call now. We're in that, that war room. The first question, like I said, is what happened? Well, I can very quickly tell you what happened with the timeline view. This is another way of seeing those alerts come in. Um, we can see these swim lanes. We had the CPU throttling, et cetera. And then of course we know that we had the storage failure, a failure to reconnect, and then things went south from there. The second question you're gonna have is what changed? You know, Gartner says that roughly 80 to 85% of incidents are caused by change in the modern world. So our, uh, our open box machine learning here is actually bubbling up the most likely changes. So as I expand this out and start to take a look, I can see that a firewall upgrade is a suspect change. That makes sense. Firewall upgrades often lead to uh, more restricted networks, but I happen to have some tribal knowledge in this case that we actually loosened firewall restrictions. So this isn't it. And I can start to train our machine learning slowly like this. But on the other hand, um, I see update storage security policy. There is a match in both the incident and the change. And uh, simply put, this looks to be our problem. Update storage security policy, limit access to the application. Uh, that, that sure looks like a match. 
storage problem, rollback change. Okay, and the third question we're going to have is what's the blast radius? You know, we can see what's going on, we see what changed, but what's being affected? So we do not require a CMDB whatsoever. We do not have our own, our own CMDB. We're able to, to show this topology information in real time per incident. And this, you know, this is coming from enrichment. The more enrichment we have, the better we're able to correlate, the better we're able to show these dependencies. So I'm very quickly easy, uh, able to identify that, yes, our production environment is impacted. I can see these various hosts and applications that are, that are having these problems. So that being said, I just wanted to take a look at, at how our open box machine learning is correlating all of this together. Um, it's really very simple. We just require a small number of correlation patterns. And so when it comes to this open box machine learning, um, I just want to point out this is not rules based. You know, this is, does not require a CMDB. Um, this is not rigid whatsoever. This is not going to break your environment or anything like that. Um, so just as an example, Intel has about 1 million nodes um, and just uh, being monitored by Big Panda. And they're using about 12 correlation patterns to, uh, to effectively um, handle their, their environment with those million nodes. So just to take a look, you know, this is a no experts required tool. Um, in this case, our machine learning happened to suggest some correlation between application and environment over a 30 minute time window. And if I decide that's not good enough, maybe I actually want to break things out by data center over the east and west coast. I can give that a shot and hit refresh. And maybe the pattern is better, maybe it's worse. But the point being is that I can, I can tweak this in real time and it's transparent and it's easy to do. So in this case, we went down to one incident. Maybe that's a good thing, maybe that's a bad thing. It's really up to you and your own environment to determine. But the point being is that we're getting very effective compression with some very simple correlation patterns here. So all that being said, once we've answered all these questions, we know what's being impacted. The next step, of course, is to start to roll back that change. Um, we can automatically open this, this ticket and service now in X matters and what have you. And at this point, I'm gonna hand it back over to Eric to uh, take a look at what it looks like on the X matters side. Thanks, Phil. <clears throat> so we just saw how Big Panda can take data from multiple sources and correlate that into incidents. And as he just mentioned, um, can also automate tasks that can be very manual and slow for teams. But as X matters and Big Panda are also work to get Together to automate key processes. How can we take that data and send it over to X Matters and help um, notify the relevant teams and help push their uh, response uh, process faster? So, this is Flow Designer, the Flow Designer tool within X Matters. And I'm not going to go into detail on this tool. You can check out our other or our session on um, Demo Days uh, playlist. So, we start here on our HTTP trigger. And this is where the signal from Big Panda comes into X Matters. So I'm going to move down, and this is in our flow. And we're going to take this information from the signal. And here we're first going to decide on is this an alert or is it a clear event where uh, Big Panda is letting us know that the incident has now gone into the OK state. So we're going to follow the alert path first. So you'll notice here we have a couple of steps. And these two steps, um, as Phil was also mentioning our, we're using some enrichment data and we're gonna use it to actually enrich the notification that we're gonna send out. So we're actually querying Big Panda for details on the alerts and the changes related to that incident. And then we're also gonna post some things into um, MS Teams, which you'll see in a moment. So now we're looking at, now we, it's an alert, but what type, you know, what level is, is it or severity? Is it a critical or a warning? So in this case, we're gonna follow the critical first. And since it's a critical, we're going to automatically create an incident within X Matters. We're also going to create some resources specifically for the incident, a MS Teams channel, a status page. We're going to post some information there. And we're also going to um, update uh, Big Panda with the actions and information that we have uh, on the resources that we created. Now, finally, here, we're, this is where we send the notification out to the team. So using X Matters scheduling and escalation policy for this team, 
will decide on who is the appropriate person to notify and or people. And they will receive a notification with various responses and these responses correlate here. And you'll see that each response can have their own automation flow as well. And you'll also notice that we are also keeping Big Panda up to date on the actions that the users are taking. So let's go over to the warning path. So on the warning path, you'll notice that we're not creating those resources automatically as we did in the uh, critical path. So in this path, we're just going straight to sending a notification to that team. We're again, following those scheduling and escalation policies, but you'll notice that they have slightly different response options. And one of those options is to start an incident. So after they've looked at the incident, they may decide, okay, this needs higher priority. So we need to kick off our incident process or higher priority incident process, which then follows again, that same path that the critical one ran automatically. And then finally, once uh, Big Panda determines that the incident has been resolved, we will follow our, sorry, we'll follow our uh, path for the okay state. And so in this case, we're actually reversing that process. So we'll start to clear, terminate events within X matters that are related to that incident. We're uh, updating our channels and resolving our incidents and our status pages and things, and then doing some cleanup. So I'll show that in just a moment. And then also, of course, updating Big Panda with the actions that have occurred. So let's start out with a, a message. So you'll see here, this is my phone and I'm using the X Matters app, but if you're not familiar with X Matters, this message could also come in through, um, we could use email, SMS, and even voice and, and or all the above, if you like. You'll notice here that in the, in the message, we first have some information that came from that uh, signal from Big Panda about the incident. So we have the incident ID, a link to that incident, status information, things like that. Um, this can be customized if you wanna pull out other or provide other inc incident information and notification, you could add that as well. We're also those enrichment steps we had. So here are the alerts that we had queried for and the details. And then we also had the changes. So this was a critical incident. So you'll notice that we automatically created the X Matters incident. So we have a link to that as well. And then our MS Teams channel and our status page incident. So this is, so as you wake up in the, you know, in the middle of the night or early in the morning and you have this incident, you have this information right at your fingertips, links to directly to incidents and resources that you will need. And you can also easily, from the responses you'll see here that I mentioned showed in Flow Designer, we can acknowledge this incident right here. And what this does is it's actually letting X Matters know that it can stop escalating and notifying and going through that escalation policy and assigning it to me to let me um, let everyone know that I am taking ownership. It's also updating Big Panda with um, letting him letting Big Panda know who is um, working this incident. And you'll see here now it's in progress. And it's a, I'm the incident commander. And you'll see here, there's where I was in this team that was notified and I engaged. So this was the critical path, right? So we had taken um, and created all those resources automatically. The incident, the uh, MS Teams channel, which let me show you this. So we had this channel, right? So we automatically created this. So we have this static channel first for alerts. So this is kind of like for stakeholders, right? So it's a static channel. We post brief information about alerts or, or issues that are seen in, this, in the uh, environment and updates that are made by X Matters based on responses and things and actions that it's taking. So here's our warning that just came in. So I just sent us a warning notification or triggered, got it to trigger a warning notification. But this is that incident channel that was created for the critical event. So again, you'll see we have the details again that we posted in about the uh, Big Panda incident and our resource that we created and then the alerts and changes. And then here you can see where I responded to acknowledge that notification. All right, so now we have our warning notification. So let's just, I'm gonna jump back over to my phone. You'll see that I have a new notification and this is for a Big Panda incident that is now in the warning state. And you can see that there, but you'll notice it's the same similar information as the critical one. We have our alerts and our changes associated, but you'll notice that there are no, um, there's no X Matters incident or MS Teams channel or a status page. 
And that's because we took that warning path and we, we don't wanna create those things automatically. But again, I could take ownership of this and I can also, uh, if I, after looking at this information or even going into big panel, look at it, I, could easy, I can easily just start an incident and that kicks off that incident process. So while we're waiting on that, let's jump over to our incident console. So again, this is our incident console um, and the incident I was just showing. So I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail on this. Um, we have another session. You can look on our demo days uh, sessions and we have one on adaptive incident management that you can check out for more detail. But for a brief you know, description that we filled out with information from Big Panda, Again, resolvers, if I, these were automatically added for us, but if we wanted to add one manually, we could do that. If we had, we want to include stakeholders, we could add and send updates to stakeholders from here. And we could also, we see that collaboration channel, that's that incident channel that was created for us automatically, but we could add some others, right? We could add Slack or even a conference bridge. And then of course, our notes section. So now we have our, uh, we'll notice that now we have a new critical incident that showed up. So it's still that same one, but we've, we've increased its priority. So it's the same one. We'll notice the same information that we had originally, but now it has the X Matters incident and MS Teams and status page information that was um, previously with the automatic or the critical uh, path created automatically for us. But in this case, we triaged it and we decided that we wanted to upgrade it. So again, I can um, respond, acknowledge and take ownership of it. I can even now resolve it if I like. So I'm going to resolve this incident. All right. So let me jump over here. We'll see that there's our new incident that was created in a moment. It's going through um, I acknowledged it, so here's where I acknowledged it, and it will update in just a moment. So while we're waiting on that, let's go back to our MS Teams. You'll see here that, again, there's that warning message we saw that came, or warning about a message about a warning incident from Big Panda, and then the replies where I was replying that I acknowledged it, so it's in review. I responded it needed to be raised, and now that the team is notified, and we actually increased its criticality. And then we also have our channel that was created for us for this incident and where I acknowledged it. So right now I'd kicked off that resolve process, right? So in that we actually were just letting Big Panda know that, hey, we want to resolve this incident. I mean, Big Panda may, you know, could do that automatically based on alerts, right? But in this case, we just triggered it off of our notification because we had been working on it. So let's just say, you know, I deployed a fix. And there, well, there it's fixed. So now it's going through and cleaning things up. So, so we've resolved the incident. Um, it went through, let's jump at our incident, see it's mitigated. So we could have put it in resolve, but we decided we don't want to necessarily close the incident out. We put it in mitigated state so someone could review it. We'll see here where I was chatting and there it cleaned up. It pulled the chat that I had put in. So where I have the fix, uh, but whatever chat we'd put in, get put in the notes of the incident. And then, of course, we saw in MS Teams where that second channel we had, create, had created automatically is now cleaned up. X Matters cleaned that all up for us. So as we come to the end, let me pull over the resolved incident just to show you over here in Big Panda some of the activity we pushed. So you'll see here where it was shared with X Matters. It started adding X Matters started updating. So here's where it let it. Big pain to know that it had notified me on my Android phone. So as it's escalating through my devices, so I could have multiple devices and where I acknowledged it, the resources I created. And of course, you can see here where it started escalating to others. So it escalated to Marty because I didn't respond fast enough and it is now resolved. And then X Matters let us know that it has cleaned up all the resources. I think Rituja has a few more items for us and then we have some Q&A. So as you've just seen, being able to connect uh, powerful tools like Big Panda and X Matters takes you to the next level for keeping services running smoothly. Um, you've seen how Big Panda cuts through the noise of multiple monitoring tools and platforms 
Um, correlating key events and most importantly, guiding you to potential root causes to enable teams to faster triage issues when they occur. You've seen how X Matters and Big Panda work together to facilitate and perhaps critically automate the incident response process. From ticket creation and updates to collaboration and stakeholder communication, automating those key incident steps saves you painful manual toil and allows you and your teams to focus on restoring services in a faster time. In summary, Big Panda was built for event correlation and automation, and it represents the best of breed approach to solve the most pressing and urgent problems for enterprises, their IT ops teams, and their customers. More monitoring is not the solution, but getting the intelligence out of your existing tools is. Big Panda's approach to solving these problems of noise reduction, correlation, root cause analysis, and automation unlocks more value from your existing tools while minimizing disruptions to your existing workflows and tool set, which is where X Matters then picks up the heavy lifting and orchestrates your incident response. Um, I'll open it up to some Q&A. Um, so my first question here is for Phil. Um, one for you regarding the candidate or sub, excuse me, sub suspect changes. We are now limited to service now, or could we be using change management tools for querying? Oh yeah, so we integrate with, with really anything. When it comes to monitoring or changes or ticketing, uh, we are completely agnostic and we have a 100% success rate. So uh, short answer, we can integrate with any change tool you may be using in your environment, uh, whether you're keeping track through ServiceNow or any CI CD tools or even unplanned changes via an API. So very flexible there. Awesome, thank you. Uh, and the next one is for Eric. Um, so from the X Matters side, in the demo that we just saw um, of the X Matters Incident Console, uh, Phil mentioned Big Panda could create a ticket directly in ServiceNow. Uh, we're being asked if X Matters could be hooked up to ServiceNow directly and if ticket notifications handled and can ticket notifications be handled by X Matters. Yes, of course. So X Matters can be integrated anywhere in the process and the ServiceNow integration is very common for us. So yeah, so as long as if Big Panda is creating the incident, and we're integrated with ServiceNow, we can take those updates and we can use those to do the same thing, do the find and assign and, and escalation for the incidents. And then also if later you wanted to add to that process, like you needed to open a, a JIRA issue in parallel, things like that, we could do that as well and easily add that. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you both for uh, these awesome demos today. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's presentation Would like, and if you would like to get your hands, on either product, you can sign up for free at xmatters.com uh, slash free for a free X Matters instance. And you can grab a virtual tour of Big Panda to explore capabilities. The link is now being posted in the chat. And if you found this webinar interesting, we have more webinars scheduled every month. So you can sign up um, on our demo days webpage or follow us on social. Um, you can track us in Big Panda down online, uh, follow your channel of choice, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, or Facebook, where we share even more uh, content around what you just heard today, and we would love to connect with you. Uh, but otherwise, if there aren't any more questions, thank you to Eric and Phil for guiding us through the demonstrations um, of you know, the X Matters and Big Panda instances, and to our guests, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this concludes today's Demo Days event. Have a wonderful day.